What's kind of going on right now? The file cabinet thing? Yeah, okay, basically cool. just a file cabinet and some other hot spots potentially okay. um, that they're treating right now. Okay, cool. Sweet, just kind of walking around. Definitely, definitely. I wasn't sure if there'd be other news crews out here, but yeah, I like well, it. They, they sent this out here just because they didn't know yeah. what 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 it might be. They're like, oh, they're they're back. So yeah. in, t- in case it's a repeat of Friday, you know. I know. Just getting the calls too. Yeah. Remind me, what's your name again? Aj. Aj ends yeah. up. Enza. I know I've seen you before. I yeah. don't remember where. <laughs> oh, there was at the uh, the Christmas tree lighting. Okay, yes, yes, that was fun. Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Well, yeah. I'm going to walk around, but good to see you, yeah. man. You stay well. safe, stay yeah. warm. Yep, definitely. Take care. I'm going to wait for a few more people to join you guys, and then I'll get you kind of uh, up to speed on what's happening here. All right, hey guys, AJ Nwoko with NBC12 here, uh, dressed down on a Sunday. I'm going to turn the camera right back here. We have Fox Elementary behind me. Give you guys uh, a look at what we're working with here. So the Richmond Fire Department has returned to Fox Elementary this morning. I would say uh, about uh, 8.30 or so uh, for a report of some smoke coming out of the building. When they got here, they found out that it was a smoldering filing cabinet on the inside of the building as well as some other hot spots that they're currently treating certainly nothing to be too alarmed of we're not going to have a repeat of what we saw uh friday night going into uh, the midnight hours of saturday morning certainly not going to be a repeat of that but it did require them to come out here and uh extinguish uh, that filing cabinet and also extinguish other hot spots uh, that may be around the school. They say with the structure fire that's this large, it's typical that uh, they will have hot spots throughout the building when you're dealing with something uh, that's as, 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 as extensive as what we saw uh, on Saturday. I can tell you right now they are not uh, sending any fire crews into the building. They say at this point it's too dangerous for that just for structural reasons. So right now, as you can see, uh, they've got this uh, engine ladder up and they're extinguishing uh, the fire from up high there. At this time, they're still investigating uh, uh, an exact cause of, uh, of this fire right now. So there's still a lot of details they're investigating on this one. Uh, there's still a lot of resources they're putting into it to figure out exactly uh, what went wrong to initially start the fire. But right now, uh, over the next uh, uh, couple days, scenes like this might be normal as there could be some flames. But again, yeah, for you guys just joining us now, uh, that's kind of what's happening right now. Richmond Fire Department is currently just treating hot spots uh, you know, within the building that have uh, popped up. The one that they're treating specifically this morning was a smoldering filing cabinet. They're putting that as well as other hot spots out. Uh, there were multiple fire crews attacking this thing uh, when the fire initially started. And even though uh, they did a very good job of dowsing all of those flames because there was a collapse there is the potential that uh, uh, pieces of uh, you know just there, there could be hot spots that are buried underneath a lot of the debris on the inside that will continue to heat up and warm up and then that fire could start all over again so uh, the Richmond Fire Department is just doing what they can now to to make sure that they are taking care of all of those spots again Right now, it's too dangerous to go into the building 
and examine where those spots may be specifically. So they're keeping all of their crews on the outside and they're attacking this thing from on up high. So again, guys, we're not going to re see a repeat of what we saw uh, early yesterday morning. However, sites like this might become normal over the next few days. They're going to continually have uh, fire watches uh, uh, throughout the day. Uh, and periodically we'll be checking up on this building to make sure that uh, we're not going to see any more activity uh, as far as the fire is concerned. Other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday morning. It's, it's a little, it's, it's trying to get a little nippy out here. We're going to be expecting uh, the possibility of some winter weather later. So hopefully you guys are staying warm. Uh, I know a lot of people are still processing exactly what happened out here, so. I hope, I hope we get some of the tributes. Yesterday we did. Very touchy there. Very touchy there. Sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. I get it. I get it. I get it. Speak the blood that's nice, you know? Oh, hopefully it'll still be, there'll be still enough to, to save about it. Is there any? I don't know. Well, and even if there isn't, even if there isn't, the other good news is that if, a, if it does have to be replaced, this community is going to have something that's going to be a lot more sturdy. Okay, so. My uncle went to school there. My grandson, when he's here from Vermont, always loved to play back there. Really? Yeah. That's what it does. Definitely does. Anyway, I didn't think you'd rock there. No, no, no. No, no. no. But I hope, you, I, hope you, I hope you do well, man. Thank you. Take care. As you guys, just a moment ago, I I, uh, I was chatting with a, a gentleman, uh, still a still a little choked up um, about leaving the school in the way that uh, this community has. Again, emotions are still kind of kind of raw with this whole thing, and uh, certainly uh, seeing fire engines back out here isn't helping any of that. But um, as you can see, now that it's uh, in the morning, to give you guys a look at uh, just how extensive that damage was. Again, with the building this old, it's over 100 years old. And it, once that fire started, it, re it really just tore through the roof. Uh, this building is very old, very dry. So right now, with the daylight, you can really see the extent of uh, the damage here. Uh, there is no more roof to this building. Uh, and there was a major collapse uh, once this uh, fire really got going. I want to give you guys another vantage point. Bear with me here as I back up. Just going to be walking down the sidewalk here. Just kind of give you guys another look at uh, just how extensive all of this was. Yeah. And there. There you have it, there's the school. In case you guys were wondering what the condition of it was at this point, they're still trying to determine if Fox Elementary is a total loss right now. Uh, I can tell you that 
the students who went here, classes have been canceled for tomorrow and Tuesday. Richmond Public School is currently trying to uh, figure out what the alternative will be for them in the future. In, in the short term, these students will be returning to virtual learning. Uh, fortunately, they still have many of their Chromebooks at home, so the kids should be able to transition to that fairly quickly come Wednesday. But as for where they're going to go for in-person learning, that is still uh, remains uh, unclear at this time. Again, um, if you guys are trying to figure out ways that you can help, we do have some information on our website that you can go on right now. If you want to donate, you can do that. And I'm sure uh, uh, as, a, as the days and the weeks progress, there'll be more opportunities to kind of help out in this, uh, help out this community, help out the school. But in the meantime, if you do want to donate, you can check out our news app. We do have uh, ways that you can you can show your support. Get a little bit closer now here. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up real quick soon. But again, I just wanted to give you guys an update about what was happening here in case you were wondering why uh, there was more uh, fire crews here. I think they're also getting ready to wrap up what they're doing here as well. Again, we'll continue to keep you guys updated for anything else that happens uh, with the school and the other developments we get. We'll be sure to pass them off to you. But again, I hope you guys are doing well on, uh, on this Sunday. Uh, and I uh, just hope you're staying warm. Uh, take care, and um, we'll see you soon.